Hey folks, welcome back. I hope everybody is doing well. I apologize that I haven't posted anything in a while. Sometimes life gets in the way. Been pretty busy. Uh, business, travel, etc. And uh, in the free time that I have had to play, I recorded some things and um, just haven't had the time to do any editing. And mm -hmm. so, anyway, just haven't been able to really post anything. So I apologize. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, so today we're going to do a little bit of hunting and talking about how to get some money in this game. And so the animal we're looking at is kind of a little hint as to what we're going to be hunting. It's a kudu, if I'm saying that right. Um, so I've got $67,206. So let's see what we can do about increasing that amount. This is a, a way to make money really easily. No cheats, no glitches, no, none of that. What I find is that the, the kudu is a fairly easy hunt. Um, you can get a pretty good amount of money for them. And um, they're everywhere on the map. Oh, let's check our loadout and make sure that we've got what we need to get a kudu. This Seems to be a uh, pretty good weapon. I've been using that one. And let's outfit it with the... Um, we'll outfit it with the new scope. And we'll give that a try. And then we've got a bow. So that's good loadout. Uh, let's go back here just real quick. Grab a vehicle. And change out the scope on that rifle. All right. So let's go with the new Bushnell Elite Tactical. There we go. Okay. Don't know if I mentioned it, but obviously if we're going to hunt kudu, we're going to be on Tickamoon Plains. Okay, so we got something out there. Let's take a look at what we have. Get up here to higher ground. See what we can see. Heard something over there. And there. Getting a little late in the day. I should have uh, reset the clock. In the morning. What time is it? Yeah, it's nighttime. Yep, yeah, should have gotten an earlier start. Apologize. We'll go ahead and do that. First, let's see what we're looking at over here. Greater Kudu. Mature female. And I find that they travel in fairly large groups. There's a one-star mature male. That's what we want, right there. So there was one. Let's go see what we got. Must be nearby. Okay. That's the first I've ever seen that. They must have changed uh, some of the messages. Expires quickly and must be nearby. Okay, so here we are. So this is probably the, the mail that I saw. A nice heart shot that I was going for. Cool. 
Yep, the one star mature male. But there you go, $612. Let's go ahead and sell him. So we're at $67,206, and we're adding $612. So, yeah, you'll notice in this game uh, that some of the animals don't pay that well. Um, but for an easy hunt like a kudu, uh, you get upwards. Uh, that's $612 is kind of low. I've gotten more than that for some of these guys. So, um so it's a decent amount of money relative to, you know, what you tend to get in this game. And uh, it's an easy hunt. All right, so let's change the time. We'll go 640. Let's take a look at our map. Find uh, some Kudu that's close to a fast travel site. Here we go, right there. Maybe I'll change to a tier 6 rifle. I thought they were tier 5, and that's what I've been using. And it seems to work out fine, but I guess I could change to a tier 6. And they are supposedly right around here. Alright, I'll come back here and change out the rifle, but let's take a look around first. And the other thing to mention is you can, you can call in the Greater Kudu with the, what is it called? The Deer Grunt Caller. Right, so I frightened them off. But what I find also, another thing to mention, is that they don't run that far. They'll run a couple hundred yards and stop. So if you scare them off, or when you shoot one and the rest of them take off, uh, by the time you harvest the other one, they're Really close. Greater Kudu, three star mature, right there, just standing there waiting for us to shoot him. He's right there. He's gonna drop. Oh! He's hurt. Just a matter of time. There he goes again. All right. So while he's doing what he's doing, let's get a vehicle. Not this one. Let's get this one. And where is it? Here we go. Let's change out to a uh, tier six. So I want to try it's tier five. That's tier five. Dire man liquor. I don't think I've ever used this one. Bolt action. Full stop. All right, we'll, we'll go with this one. I don't think I've used it before. He's still out there, so I'm sure he expired. So we will go collect him up. And that was a left long shot. Three star. Sure, $642. Go ahead and sell him. We'll head out here and see what we run into out in this direction. But so far, that's $1,200. We haven't been at this very long. Black Wildebeest. We'll let them be. I'm looking for Greater Kudu. And that is probably going to be Greater Kudu right out there. Because, like I say, they're all over the map. Uh-oh. They are charging me. Okay. 
Let's hope they don't come back. In the meantime, head down this way. Glad I was able to successfully avoid them. Oh, blue wildebeest. One star mature. 272 yards. I don't know if I've gotten any blue wildebeests. Take a look at the encyclopedia real quick. Uh, animals, blue wildebeest is... Year 6, cool. Oh, and I, what can I call them in with? There, I can call them in with the, uh, the rattling bag. Cool. That's the one I want right there. So, let's see what they pay. Nice heart shot. One star mature. 568. So a little bit less than the greater kudu. Go ahead and sell them. But we'll remember that $568 is from a blue wildebeest, not a greater kudu. Should have taken a vehicle. Yeah, it's the other thing. You can drive around. You'll come across them, like I say, all over the map. All right, so let's go back to the... Uh, area over here so we have a little protection always good we'll head out in this direction and see what we run into there's a greater kudu And there's a bunch of them. This should be a one star mature. Heart shot? Did I get the heart shot? Yes, I did. Okay. And. Yep, one star mature, 600 bucks. So, go up here. I'm gonna get my vehicle stuck. I knew it. Son of a gun. Alright, we'll recover that in a minute. Just want to come around the back here and see if we can spot these guys. Oh, they're right over there. They were closer than I thought. Running right out by the Cape Buffalo. And they're going to stop. a second to calm down so yeah so see they're 500 yards away 400 yards away like there's a warthog or something running around out there start to calm down hit buffalo moving on a little bit okay well, let's get a little closer it's a two-star mature. <sighs> Left long. That's a lousy shot. But... As you shot or not, there's another $620. Hey, how about the guinea fowl? Okay, and there's one right now.
I hit him? I did. <laughs> okay. So we got a little... Ah. I didn't see those out there. They're out there. Where? There. The one star mature. So, mark him, and let's check out our helmeted guinea fowl while we're here. Like a turkey, almost. Not all female. Exodermy her. Oh, let's change the objective. This one? Okay. Okay, harvest a helmeted guinea fowl shot with a bow as the bird was on the ground. Okay, cool. Nice the way the game warned you that you're about to uh, harvest something that you need for a uh, for an objective, so you don't miss that opportunity. Okay. One star mature. $596. That's the... First time I think I've ever seen one under 600. There was something out here a couple of hundred yards away. Let's see if it's the rest of his, uh, the rest of those kudu. See if we can get another one. No, it was probably the warthogs. Alright, so I'm going to call it here. Um, let's go back to the lodge, get our vehicle unstuck, side real quick and call our vehicle back, so... We can get it off those rocks. Oops. Okay, so we started this with uh, 67,206, and we got 78,50. So what is that? That's uh, $3,500, a little more than $3,500, and um, what would we say? 550 of that was something around 550 of that was a blue wildebeest. So we got about three grand, and I was playing for about an hour, kind of kind of casually, wasn't uh, doing too much, and I didn't use a vehicle most of the time. So if you're out there with a vehicle and you chase around the map, you can uh, you could probably make you know, probably four to five thousand dollars in an hour, and in this game that's pretty good, um, and you know without without cheating, without doing anything crazy. Um, so for me, that's easy money. Uh, they're an easy hunt. And, um, so if you need some cash, that's one way to get it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching. You guys take care.